All right, people, I've chosen to uh, do a little clip um, on September the 13th, 2015. I'll do a little clip on what I want to see in a box the last time I open it until January. <clears throat> I got two right here that I'm going to look in to be sure they're that way. Uh, that I'm getting ready to take to another yard. I will have them gone from here by the time I get the video up, I'm sure. Um, both of these will be drone mothers. <clears throat> this one is an experimental back cross. And the direct daughter from the, the queen I was testing failed for whatever reason. And they actually raised a granddaughter. So she is a, a double generation down back cross of this, this spring's drones should be an interesting one for a drone mama somewhere else. Uh, the one dad yonder's I uh, got some VSH blood in her. Uh, her sisters were fantastic through the winter. I had one on two frames and a little single deep right there that maintained brood through that uh, cold snap. Uh, so um, if for whatever reason wind noise stares up which it shouldn't be too bad in the backyard. The reason why I'm doing this back here. Um, I wanted to mention first, if you see me move undrawn frames to the, uh, what is the north side of the hive, it's because, uh, well not un completely undrawn, uh, partials. It's because the bees like to cluster on the south side. Here's the south side. The sun rises and sets during the wintertime like that. So you have natural heat here on this side um, throughout the winter on sunny days. The bees want to cluster. They would rather cluster to this side. So you need drawn frames here so that the bees can butt heads in the frame, in, in, the, in the comb, and, and form a tight cluster when they want to here. And the majority of stores here. When you check the weight of a hive, don't just grab, if you if you just, without thinking, grab the south side this time of year, it can be light. Because a lot of these, they have most of their weight on this side for that reason. They have sense enough to plan that ahead, working that way. And all of my yards, I have them facing southeast, just like we're facing here, as you can see. The sun's starting to wrap around to the south a little bit now, even as the days shorten up. Anyway, here we go. That's the main thing I wanted to mention. If you see me moving the partially drawn frames to the north side, that's why. And a uh, few boxes, I'll probably have undrawn ones on the north side. Last year I did a, a box like that. I believe it was six over six and uh, seven framers. And they did fine um, so if in a pinch and you need brood from a box you can put an empty on the on the north side and not hurt them too bad particularly if you got 10 frame stuff because they ain't gonna use they ain't gonna use but about seven eight frames anyway in a 10 framer um, here in the winter but, uh, we're gonna find out if we got any attitude problems this time of year if a queen is two-faced her bad face is going to be staring at yours um, they get uh, they get a little attitude if they're prone to that A little history on that one. Uh, that was a packed out seven frame single and I stuck a super honey on it from another box. So it should be they might have a just a teeny little band of brood up in that somewhere. 
And you see I still got a little pebble in between the two supers from the heat of August or whenever it was I'd done that. So I'm going to take that out now. Even though they're calling for a string of 80 some degree days, they can cool it now. Because <clears throat> it's going to get progressively colder. Battery's holding up. Battery's holding. <clears throat> Thought was low on population.
would have liked to seen the queen. A little small, but probably gonna start shrinking this time of year anyway. I saw eggs in there, that was good enough confirmation, but it's good to see her still in there. And still the one that I clipped and marked. As you probably saw that thing has got uh, capped sugar galore in there that'd be just fine and, um, if that hive survives they will eat nearly none of that and I'll just about have all of that for April splits and what have you so because as you know if you pay much attention to the flows you have no nectar flow in April April is like a dearth, but they're building up at the same time. So you got you got to have stuff for them babies to eat if you don't. You're gonna do splits. Might have covered a little of that somewhere or another. Let's see. Well, there's that little clip of that one. I wanted to show you a little bitty double medium like that, and then one of these bigger ones just to do it. So now we're gonna go in this one right here. Okay, so fresh battery. Um, if for whatever reason you went in a hive like this and it was light and dry and no cap stores, you would put an immense amount of heavy sugar syrup on it until they did have them. And uh, but like I said, these are these should be ready to go. And what I mean by go is me move them up in the mountains and forget about them until February. <laughs> And hope I don't feed one or two or three or I'll string up into a bale. But uh, yeah, so here we are. Let's, uh, let's roll through this baby. This particular queen is of a different genetic line. She's in no way is related to that previous one. At least not related as far as being bred in my yard now. They might be related if you go back deeper than that.
they don't touch it this winter, like I said, I got plenty of feed for splits. on battery yeah they'll probably never touch that top super this one at all It'll still look just like that in February when I open it up. Late January, whenever. Still got eggs, baby. Is that pretty? eggs and that's all I want to see. That's all I want to know. They got plenty of uh, feed. So all the frames are drawn. You look down at an angle and you see all of them are drawn out. I don't need to move any. Yeah, so check on the bottom end. Yeah. Still got plenty of pollen. have it because they get ready to get so much astral pollen that it'll overwhelm them. They'll actually be partially pollen bound then. I see one hive beetle. I don't worry about hive beetles. They usually winter a few in the cluster. Here's one firing wax, white wax. I ain't put a stitch of feed on her. She's standing there with me. wax I want that beat all you ever saw <laughs> yeah 
Yeah. No flow hardly. Nothing. No feed. They're just sitting there with honey on them. Action September, people. box is good to go. That thing will flat help them all blow up uh, next spring. They live. More pollen. I could bring in a little golden rod now. You can see the little gold baskets in there. That's the kind of fall behavior I want to see out of a good drone mama. I flood that yard with her drones and the other ones too, she lives. Alrighty people, well that's that. That's what I want to see in a hive. I probably won't be back in those until January. Late January, early February, weather permitting.